Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. And what a week it is. A pivotal week in the history and the history and the history of humanity. This is a week of the US general election. And I've noticed that a lot of astrologers are not talking about it. They're like, let me just hide. I can't predict who's going to win. I'm not going to mention it. I cannot not mention it. Number one, I know it's causing all of us, wherever you're coming from, supreme anxiety, stress. You know, there's a lot of emotion. We've got all the feels going on uh, this week. And it's an incredibly important time for the whole world, not just America, because whoever gets in is going to be a massive policy maker and change things that are going to impact us all. Anyway, what's really interesting is there's not that much going on this week, although one crucial an extraordinary thing is that we have Mercury going direct on the very day of the general election. Now, the last time this happened was in 2000, when Al Gore and Bush had the same thing, Mercury going direct on that day. And what happened? There was a very unclear count. It took ages to resolve. It ultimately went to the Supreme Court. Yes, the Supreme Court, which has recently had a judge change. And then it, it was resolved. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people carried through the bitterness of that election in their heart. Are we going to see the same thing? It's quite likely. I don't believe there's going to be a clear cut decision on the day. And even if there is, we're looking at a lot of chaos. I would say until December. But I think by the time we get to the end of November, we'll, we'll see where we're going. Um, the other thing that's starting to happen this week from the 7th is we're going to start to feel that Jupiter and Pluto conjunction, which kind of hits its peak on the 12th. And then there should be breakthrough. The amazing astrologer Jessica Adams is pre predicting that Biden will win. And she says that, the, you know, it's such an important turning point in history and it offers positive hope. And she's really good at predicting things. So I'll leave the prediction to her. But I will say we are heading towards a time of freedom, of transformation, of coming together that will hit next year and will come to a, a monumental change in 2023. So whatever you're feeling now, I promise you there is hope and there is possibility and there is change where we are all going to feel a lot more equal. And I truly believe that. So this week I'm doing this extremely long introduction just to say Whatever and whoever you want to win this election, please take care of yourself. Let's take care of each other. Let's try not to be so polarised because it isn't getting us anywhere. You know, there's more or less, you know, whatever, whatever you're looking at, 40, 60, 50, 50 in this. We've got to find a way to support each other and understand that we're all one. We, we are not two separate parts of a whole. Anyway, I'll stop going on now. Here is your weekly astrology. Hi, gorgeous Gemini. Yeah, baby, your ruler Mercury is going direct. Oh, it is such a relief for you. You should be feeling much more yourself. Okay, it's still in shadow, so it might take a little while, you know, for you to feel fully back in your power, but it's in your position of creativity, happiness, joy, children, and romantic soul connections. Well, actually, soul connections in, in general that bring you joy. What is not to love about that? So you're starting to feel much more positive about your emotional relationships, your happiness, your creativity is flowing and you are feeling good. But this week, when we're still feeling that square between um, Mercury and Saturn, you may, because the other thing for you actually over the, over the coming weeks is about power. Your sense of who you are, being in your power, uh, healing and transforming your wounds and stepping into your power. Also potentially meeting very powerful people who are going to help you in some way. And initially at the beginning of this week, you might feel as if there's a power struggle with someone and you're trying to get across. This is what I need. This is what I need for happiness. This is what I need for a healthy relationship. This is what I need to follow my passion. And you may feel as if you're clashing either with someone else or your own internal judge. You know, we all have an internal judge and it's, it's building a positive relationship with your internal judge to not let your internal judge rule you, you know. And when, I mean, we're going to start to feel this Jupiter and, and Pluto 
conjunction from the 7th, but really it's next week on the 12th that it, it becomes exact. And that is about you coming into your power. It's about you accepting and understanding and transforming your views of life, death, rebirth, sex, and power. You know, these, these are very hot issues for you, but there is, Jupiter always trumps, excuse the uh, uh, analogy, trumps um, Pluto. So uh, Jupiter will win the day. Jupiter's very enthusiastic and, and optimistic and into learning and freedom. And that's what your heart is calling for, for you to have the freedom to step into your power, to be who you have the divine right to be. And any of the, the trauma that happened to you in the past, it's stepping, it's not forgetting it because we can't just bury our trauma, but it's about understanding how you've survived your trauma, whatever that may be. You have survived at, at times in your life feeling powerless. You have survived at times dealing with the primal aspect of nature. And now it is onwards, onwards to you being empowered. So that's very exciting. You'll, you'll hear flutterings of that this week, but it's next week where it, it all kicks off for you. Let us see what the tarot has to say for you, darling Gemini. Uh, but yeah, it's you're going to feel, hopefully, mentally, which is very important to you because your mind is very important, much clearer and much more, you know, in, not in, well, in charge is the wrong word, but much in, more in tune with your inner voice and, and your positive inner voice that's going get to you, get you through. Gemini, 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 what is occurring for you this week? Look out for a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius with a very strong energy. Also, this may be you actually having a rebirth, um, a young Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, or the fact that you are suddenly, um, new ideas are coming to the surface. You're viewing the world in a more optimistic way. And the wish card, which often comes up when I'm doing these readings, much to my delight, something you want is heading your way. And, and what you want is actually freedom to express who you are, freedom to be that little curious kid that looks at the world with beauty and, and has faith. And yeah, you're going on a journey to find your missing cup. Um, you're going on a journey to notice all the all the cups are standing up with the eight of cups, but there's one there's a little hole in there. And you're like, I'm going on an adventure to find what's missing. And you know, you're trusting your, your soul to do that. Fascinating. Uh, do visit my website, michellenight.com. I've got a brand spanking new Celtic cross reading, which um, is definitely an upgrade on the last one. Um, and yeah, michellenight.com. Go to free readings or it might be forward slash Celtic cross. So much love to you, gorgeous. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Michelleknight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight, so I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do, and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show. And Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family, and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, and I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got a job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two or three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings, and this beautiful, distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers, well, it's just great. I do love the freedom 
of when I can work and when I can have a break. The Shell Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michellenight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.